but it was over there in Australia. Now we, we're here in the Bay, and uh, you know, it feels good. I'm excited for it. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. He's going there. He's gonna do. He's gonna do. He's gonna do. Regardless of the talk, regardless of what I say or what he says. You know, people weren't at, at this time for a reason. Despite how one-sided you feel this fight will be in your favour, would you say Regis is your toughest test of your career so far? Or would you disagree with that? We got to see. Um, you know, up there I said he was a bum, um, and I look to show that on December night. Devin, uh, should it's we question your knockouts and say, oh, you not knocked anyone out in however many years. Do you believe on Saturday night you will be able to get to him and finish this in style? We got to see. Um, you know, I, I think I'm going there, and uh, I'm definitely going to be able to touch him a lot, hit him a lot, and uh, we'll see how he holds up. Well, Devin, uh, I, I asked Tio about fighting you. He kind of laughs it off, and then I know you and your dad talk about moving to 47. Um, what do you think about the fight with Tio Because after this fight, it would be for who's the man, you know, for Lineal. Right now, um, you know, my main focus is Regis Pro Grace, and then after that, we'll see. Your main focus being Regis Pro Grace right here at home in your hometown. Obviously, you had a little bit of help in the stands today. What would win right here in the Bay Area is the first fight coming to Chase Center. What would that mean to you? Yeah, it mean everything to, to me, my family, my team. Um, we worked hard to get here. And, um, you know, now that we're here in this, this, this massive event, uh, you know, now it's time to perform. So, uh, you know, uh, it'll mean everything. Any I'm adrenaline pumping, knowing that it's we'll be here in front of everybody and you are coming in as the challenger against the champion? 100 percent adrenaline definitely, you know, going, juice is going. I'm ready to go. I'm, ex I'm, I'm excited. How do you feel at 140? I feel great. I feel great at 140. Um, stronger than I've ever been. Uh, but it's for me to show on uh, December the 9th. Debbie, was anything different setting the face off to what we was hearing on, on stage there? You, you guys in here? <laughs> no, we couldn't hear it. Man. Oh yeah, nah. It, it, it was it was a lot of talking, but uh, like I said, he gonna do what he gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, and uh, may the best man win. Devin, do you want to show in this fight? You're not just better than him, but just as tough, if not tougher. That, especially when he's talking about your upbringing and stuff like that. He gonna say what he gonna say. He believe what he believe. I believe what I believe. Um, I'm gonna be victorious on, on, on the night, and uh, that's that's all really that matters. He can say what he want to say. Uh, about upbringing or this or that, um, I'd say that I'm a better fighter, and uh, and that's what I'm approved. When he says he hasn't shown the skills, but he will in this fight, but he has performances like Zapata where he did show skills, move his head. Is that you getting in his head? And, and, yeah. He didn't show no skills. Um, he showed power. When you hear Eddie Hearn say this is a 50-50 fight, you feel like that's a disrespect? Yes. Eddie doing what he got to do to uh, build a fight, and... Um, we all know this ain't no 50-50 fight. Um, we know I'm levels above this guy. And like I said, the world gonna see. Is there more for you to prove on Saturday night? What round are you gonna end the fight in? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be a round, but I don't know what round. Do you think the fact that he's been promoted as the B-side in this fight, although he's the champion, do you think that's sort of in his head, the fact that, you know, Eddie's obviously worked with you before and he's looking at this and he said, look, that's Eddie's boy, Devin Haney. Do you think like that sort of played with his mind a bit? Yeah, um, I think he's drawn into the to the A side, B side. Man, I'm going there to, to fight and to, to win, and, and that's my main focus. I don't care about none of that outside the ring, none of this, or who Eddie likes more, who Eddie don't like, or what Eddie. I, I, I didn't go from promoter to promoter, been treated bad from this promoter and that promoter, and this network. But listen, I'm a true professional, I perform no matter what. So it don't matter, you know, about none of that. Do you feel like you have something to prove to fans on Saturday night? You feel like you have something to prove to fans on Saturday night? No, I mean, the people are going to come out and they're going to see a great fight. It's a great fight for boxing. So after this fight, do you feel yourself natural or what you feel like you can do? Uh, I want to get past this fight and then uh, we'll see what's next. Devin, how did moving up affect power and, and stamina? So I'm going to see. Devin, I'll see, 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 see y'all tomorrow at the weigh-ins. Devin, you said many times it's all about that bay. I talked to before it happened. You said, you said, watch, wait, and see. I'm going to sell out at the bay. I'm bringing boxing back to San Francisco. I told the you. The see come to life. What do you got to say to all the fans that follow the support team? Listen, Haney? Allah is a perfect player. He makes no mistakes. I said I was going to bring it back to the bay. Here we are. Massive event for, 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 the, for boxing, like for the bay area. And uh, it's going to be a great night for me and my team. All right. Hey, Devin.